breaking news. Nigerian government gives condition to reopen churches, schools, and others. The secretary to the government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, has said that President Mamadou Buhari's decision to extend the ease lockdown for another two weeks is to try and contain the spread of COVID-19 before the economy is fully reopened. Boss Mustafa, who is also the chairman of the Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19, stated this during the daily media briefing on Tuesday. The first phase of the East lockdown expired on Monday, May 18, 2020. Buhari has now extended it by another two weeks until June 1st. Mustafa called on schools, places of worship, businesses, office, etc. to use this period to plan and adopt new strategies under a COVID-19 era in line with the guidelines. According to both Mustafa, the decision to reopen the economy slowly is based on current experiences from different countries and expert advice. He said, again, I wish to repeat that the decision is not punitive. We share your pains and also share your consent. However, our future remains in our hands and compliance is one of the keys to opening that future. I must also emphasize that the two additional weeks should be utilized by business, businesses, offices, professional bodies, places of worship, educational institutions, and so on and so forth, awaiting reopening to plan the adopt new strategies under a COVID-19 era in line with the guidelines. About, above all, behavioral, behavioral change is a most is the most for every citizen because COVID-19 has changed the world completely. The Nigerian Center for Disease Control on Tuesday night announced 226 new cases of those that are infected with this virus. It brings the total of the country to 6,401 cases of COVID-19 patients. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. <laughs> Nigerians should try and open schools for the people's safety. They should try and open, uh, they try and open schools, church, markets, marketplaces, business places, mosques, and so on and so forth. Because if they don't do this, people will die of so many things. You die of lack, lack of money, lack of food, lack of so many things. These businesses we are talking about, we see this, um, these masses there is this business that they are using to sustain themselves. Is this business um, that they are using to feed their families and relatives? Now that it's been locked, how will they feed? The first time they, they announced lockdown. We were thinking that after the first announcement that they will never extend it. They, extend, they have extended this for like three, four to three to four times now. Why are they doing this? They are doing this and they are not giving provision. They are not giving food or money to sustain us with. We the masses. This case, cases that is always coming up every day, cases of people that have People that has this virus, they are all fake cases. They use this case to get money, to, to extort money from those people that are contributing to the, to the welfare of this COVID-19. They are using this case to take money, according to what uh, one of the senators says. I will not mention the senator's name. He said this case, this case of COVID-19 that we always hear every day, that they, is, 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 they, they have been lying to us about this. There's nothing like all these cases that have been announced. 
There's nothing like that. They're just using this to get money, to extort money from people that are contributing to this, to the, to the cure of this COVID-19. One pastor said it as well, that these people are liars. That they are liars. They have been using our head. They have been deceiving us. That this COVID-19 has a cure. They are using the, they are using the money that, they are, that was contributed, that have been contributed, is used to buy this cure for the COVID-19 pandemic, and which is lie. Look at what Prophet MC said. He exposed these people, exposed NCDC, that he expects that this virus should have a cure, should have its own separate drugs. Even if it doesn't have cure, at least, should have their own separate drugs. They deceive them that COVID-19 has a cure. Meanwhile, it doesn't have. This, he said that they, well, it was tested of having this COVID-19. It was tested positive of COVID-19. And when he, he, he purposely went, he agreed with them on this and went for isolation. He went to, with them for, to, to, the, to the isolation center. And when he got there, he was thinking that they will be administering drugs for COVID-19 to them. Do you know what they administered to them? It's trying to tell us that these people are liars. What they administer to these people that has COVID-19 is malaria drugs, chloroquine. And they are telling us that um, this virus has a cure. They have been using this money to get the cure for this virus. This is a blunt lie. They lie to us every day and we keep swallowing these lies. They lie to us and we keep supporting them. Imagine that. Nigerians are foolish. They will know the truth and they will never, they will still support, they, they, they will know that you are lying to them and they will keep supporting you. Look at those that are still, are still supporting Buhari, despite everything that is going on in this country. Imagine that. Nigeria should try and open this school, as I've said before. Any idiot can give instructions. Anybody can give instructions because Buhari eh, 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 always has been lying to us. If Nigeria is running, is running a constructional government, then what would stop a vice president from being in charge? A country without vision is visionless. A country without vision is a failed country. President Muhammadu Buhari and the governors should stop scamming people with their fake COVID-19 cases. They should allow schools, market, and other activities to commence to save this country economy. Look at what Donald Trump said. He has called off, he has relaxed his own lockdown. He said that he cannot keep, he can't keep um, 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 locking these people in when he knows that there's no virus for this, there's no cure for this COVID-19. The only cure for it is when you eat fruits and when you go to, enter the sun. If the sun eats you every day, or in seconds, or it to every seconds or minutes, then this COVID-19 will reduce and you get healed totally. So as you go to the sun and as the sun eats you every day, before you know it, this COVID-19 will just vanish off the same way it came. That is why Donald Trump is releasing these people, is releasing the citizens to go to work, schools, to do their own businesses and all of that. Why is Nigerian doing all this? Because they got their selfish interest. Because of the money they have been getting. They don't want the money to finish. That's why they are supporting and doing all these things they are doing. And I'm not surprised. I know that one day God, in his infinite mercy, will definitely put a stop to this. A stop to this. They have been exposed. They know that they have been exposed. And they stick, they keep doing this. They keep deceiving. They keep saying things. That's they are not supposed to be saying concerning this COVID-19. Imagine that. The last index as of Monday was put at 5,905 or so. And with the index of Tuesday put to 226. When? When? But today. Imagine. Everything should be like 6,401. All these are just rubbish. They're just writing it for people, for those that are contributing to the welfare 
of this COVID-19 pandemic to keep um, supporting, to keep giving money to them. But we know that this is just fake. It's not real. We know that it's fake. I know that God will definitely put a stop to this very soon. To viewers, all this blabbing should stop. Judgment will soon be see the government of this nation in in unusual way because everyone is watching and God is listening to the cry of his, his children. My own advice is that let the churches, mocks, schools, let them be opened. Mr. President should stop all these things and let everyone return to is or a normal work. Churches and mosques should be opened fully, including schools. We Nigerian citizens have tried enough. We have tried of this lockdown. We are tired of this lockdown. Hunger virus wants to kill everyone. Hunger virus are killing these masses, these poor ones. They should try and fear God and open all these things, all this business. People's business, so they can go back to their various businesses and get money to feed their families and their relatives, even themselves as well. So, viewers, what is your own comment on this? Your comment is also needed. Drop your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever I publish new videos. And don't forget, share and like this news as well. Thank you.